Hey, this is Jeff with Miller's RV, and we are here with the new 2021 70B Winnebago Era. Let's do it. So before we get started, don't forget, subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you can be alerted to all the new content we put out. And if you have a question you want answered about anything related to RVs, post it below and we will get back to you on that question, post a video, because there's probably other people that want to know too. So let's get started. One of the great things about the new, and this is actually last year's too, the 2021 era, the awning is, if you've looked at an older B-Van, you had the legs you had to extend down. Well, the new awning, you don't have to do that with the carefree awning. So it will stop at any point, which is great, because a lot of times you're at a campground that might have a tree in the way, or if you're tailgating, there might be an RV too close. You can stop the awning at any point, and it works. Uh, there's wind sensor to pull it in. The lights are actually mounted right here on the edge of the awning. So when you're illuminating your, your area, it gives you this nice big illumination, plus you have the light on the side of the, the RV to also give you more illumination. So a great way to light up your campsite at night, give you that fun thing, because again, RVs are meant to be used, and particularly with B-Vans, with limited space inside, a lot of people are buying B-Vans both for travel, but those when they're camping want to be able to use the outdoor space as part of the thing. So a couple things on the outside of the unit. We do have two 110 outlets here. We also do have your 12 volt hookup and your coaxial hookup. So if you're hooking into the over there TV antenna, you can hook into that. Uh, and then the solar hookup as well. So those are there right, uh, right available for you. So one of the big changes for 2021, this is the new Mercedes chassis, is the electric door. So you just grab the handle and the door opens up automatically. The benefit to that, it's a pretty heavy door. And a lot of times when you're going to close it, you don't get it shut all the way. Well, this new one, you just, again, you can either hit the button right inside the door or pull on the handle and it will automatically close and open. So a very nice upgrade to it and something that comes on the 2021 chassis. One of the benefits you'll see too on the Winnebago Air versus a lot of the competition is the mounting step is fixed. Now, we've carried some other brands and I've sold a lot of them over the years and a lot of them have an electric step. Well, the electric step is fine and when it's in, yeah, it might make the coach a little narrower on the bottom, but if the battery is weak or if the step motor comes out, you're headed out the step and the step, you're headed out the door and the step's not out yet, it can be a dangerous situation. This is a nice big step. You can see I get my full foot up on it. It's solid, it's not bending, it's not giving away any, and it's the full width of the door. So I do think this is actually a better way to do the step, really like it, and it gives lots of room, has the grip surface all the way on it, and it's also integrated with the step for the passenger seat as well. So one thing nice with this, they have a screen door built in here. So you can close this out. Uh, down here we have the mosquitoes that really are an annoyance and this gives you a nice area to be able to enjoy the open uh, view of the coach, have good airflow for the fantastic fan you have inside, but also be able to keep the mosquitoes out. So uh, really, really great coach. And again, made to be used both inside and bringing the outside in, inside out, however you want to call it, to be able to use your outside area, your camping area as part of your living space. So the 70B, the floor plan difference between the 70X, there's three seats instead of four. So you have the one chair here, the two up front. Uh, the Both the chairs up front do swivel around. We'll show that in a minute. And again, you get the larger refrigerator. But before we go into the rest of the area, let's look right here at the main monitor panel and you can see the controls and we'll go from there. So Winnebago locates all of your controls right here in this one panel. Uh, the bottom of this, they put your awning uh, switch for your in and out for your awning as well as your battery disconnect. They do that so that if you're standing outside, it, which is where you usually are for the awning, it's easier to move your awning in and out. Um, I'll talk first of all about the multiplex lighting system. So multiplex, uh, it's a word that really confuses people. Basically means is that the wires are connected with a brain and fiber optic or in um, Cat5 cables throughout the coach. So instead of having a bunch of individual wires run through each individual light, there's a wiring harness that's controlled by a brain that allows you to turn lights on and off. It's what most cars have, it's what all the high-end coaches have, but Winnebago puts it even in their, their Class B as well. One of the benefits to it, when I touch master light, you can see the lights came on. So these are the lights I had on when I hit master off. So say these are the lights you're using and you're going out for a little bit, you can hit master light, it'll turn those off, you go out. When you come back in, hit master light again, it turns just the lights you had on back on. One cool feature, a lot of people don't even realize they have the coach, if you hold down master light, it will turn all the lights on in the coach. So you can see blue tells you they're all on. 
Uh, and again, if I hit master off, they go off, hit master light back on because everything was on, they all come back on. So really nice multiplex system. Also, if you notice, there'll be another controller in the rear so you can turn lights on in different places. Um, it allows you also to control it from your control panel. So this is your control panel you have from Winnebago. Uh, it gives you, again, option for your kitchen and lighting so I can turn the lights off at the different areas. Uh, I can turn them on and off and you can see the different zones for bed, bath, and then kitchen living. Uh, back to the main monitor panel, you have your level monitor, shows your levels in your different uh, coach, so fresh water, gray, black, your battery condition. Um, your sofa, you can put your sofa bed up and down here or in the front of the coach. Then you have your awning, I can put your awning in and out from here or again from the switch down below. And again, all this tied into the multiplex system. Uh, I can start and stop the generator. I have the water pump I can turn on and off the water heater I can turn on and off, and then the bottom one I can lock the screen. So that's all your, your precision control panel here. There's also an inverter switch to turn your inverter on for the coach, um, as well as a temperature sensor here for the air conditioning system and your ZAMP solar power. Your ZAMP solar power, you can even see right now, even in the rainy day we have today, uh, is actually charging the batteries. It's already got up point, uh, tenth, a tenth of a volt while we've been uh, videoing. And then last down here is your Truma water heater system. This Truma water heater system is a great system that provides a uh, better water heater source and also provides the heat for your furnace as well. So let's look inside. I want to do one more thing and we'll show you the front area and then we'll kind of look at the rest of the coach. So you can already see the difference this makes cutting out the light, giving you privacy, cutting out the heat, which is always great down here in the south. <clears throat> the refrigerator is a 12 volt compressor, which is one of the great things. Instead of being an RV refrigerator, which you might be familiar with, which run on gas absorption using LP gas or 110 power to heat uh, ammonia based uh, liquid and then cool the refrigerator that way, which is great when you're off grid, but it doesn't give you, um, it doesn't cool near as well. This is a 12 volt compressor. So it's an efficient 12 volt compressor, runs on battery power, um, and it cools a lot faster and cools better. I'm an ice cream junkie. I like my Bluebell and I like my Bluebell firm, not like a milkshake. And that's one of the differences between a compressor fridge versus an RV or gas absorption fridge. Um, little safety locks on the top and bottom. And so on this one, just like a lot of the French style in the house, you have refrigerator at the top and then you have freezer at the bottom and they both do have little travel locks. So you don't have to worry about a heavy thing sliding over and hitting and not getting it back. Um, this unit also has a table that the table leg stores right here and it can be used either here or in the rear um, and the table will fit in so it can fit right here and allows either person to be able to sit and eat so you can both sit here and eat uh, there is an adjustment up and down on these seats as well but it's up in the front power control didn't mention that, but that's one of the things, the benefits for this year. These are power front seats, so you have multiple power adjustments, a lot more comfortable. There's also a little extension here that extends, so if you're taller, it kind of gives you support for your full leg, and they're heated, which is another great, great feature of that. But while we're talking kitchen, you've got the table here. This table also set up in the rear if you want to use the rear space um, instead of the front space for eating. It gives you either option there. Now, as I come forward with this, the kitchen area is great because in the kitchen, um, you do have a, a pretty good size sink. Now, that's one thing when I talk size and I'll say something is roomy. Uh, somebody mentioned in the last video that, you know, how can you call that roomy? Well, if you've looked at B vans, this is really roomy for a B van. Uh, obviously, not as much room as you're going to have in a Class C or Class A. But if you want to be able to park your van in a regular parking spot, if you want to be able to drive it like a second car and be able to take it everywhere, uh, which is my wife and I, as our kids have moved out, we become empty nesters. We really enjoy taking the B vans because it's small, it's easy to get around, but we still have all the comforts of home while we're traveling. So when I'm saying roomy, obviously I'm referring to roomy in a B van, but for a B van kitchen, this is a ton of counter space. It's a lot more than you normally get. Great cabinets. This is the higher gloss black finish instead of the tan finish in the other video we did, uh, but a beautiful cabinets. But they're also very, very lightweight. Something Winnebago does. Really, a lot of people, um, if you look at the carrying capacities on the coaches, you'll know just across the board consistently, Winnebago tends to have more carrying capacity. Now, that's one of the differences in the Winnebago construction. So a lot of times we talk about Winnebago being a better constructed coach. And a lot of people look at fit and finish or quality of cabinets or something like that, and that's what they consider quality of construction. That's not what I'm talking about. Now, and, I, and look, I'll give, Tiffin doesn't build a class B, but I'll give them a, a, a thumbs up, man. Their cabinetry is beautiful and their class C and their class A's do a great job with cabinets. 
but those beautiful wood cabinets are heavy. What Winnebago does, when I say construction, I'm talking about the overall construction of the unit when you're counting in weight, balance of vehicle. So they even do things where they put different uh, appliances on different sides of the vehicle so they balance the vehicle. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. They just do the floor plan, they build it, and you'll see a lot of the other manufacturers leaning really bad one way or the other because they're not balanced. And carrying capacity. There's a lot of Class Cs on the Mercedes chassis out there that have less than 500 pounds carrying capacity. And in that carrying capacity, you have to include both the occupants, if there's two of you traveling, and all your stuff. So if you've got 300 pounds of carrying capacity and my wife and I go camping, we can't bring anything because we fill up the carrying capacity just the two of us. So that's definitely one of the differences in Winnebago versus the others when I say quality of construction and these cabinets are one. They're expensive, they're imported, they're very very lightweight uh, and instead of having just a traditional cabinet which might look good but way more, this is going to give you that extra carrying capacity. So one of the nice benefits there. Um, the, count, the look in this is all very uh, modern, maybe European, and they do a good job with both the fixtures. All of the doors you see have the locking to hold them in, but they're, um, there's no handles on them, which gives a nice clean look. And the LED lighting is another one that really gives a really good look to it. Three, two. Okay, so I have moved approximately 20 inches. I'm now in the kitchen. Uh, your kitchen, again, Winnebago just a little extra, give you a three burner stove instead of a two burner, so a nice little feature there. But when you're not using your stove, your glass cover drops down so you have more counter space. And again, tons of extra counter space here for fixing food, having drinks out. Coffee pot can even fit over here on the side, so it gives you room for that. Uh, good under counter storage. And again, the microwave, convection microwave versus regular with the bake feature so you can bake uh, your biscuits or whatever else you want right there in that. Now on the other side over here, we do have our bathroom. Oh, you're over there now. Okay, bathroom. Want to talk about the bathroom? The way they do their bathroom, I don't know if you can tell the curve they put in the wall here, but this little bit of extra curve they put gives you the few extra inches you need to be in the bathroom. So when the doors are closed, you can actually use the toilet and uh, actually use the shower and stuff like that. So not much extra room, but it's enough and it makes a difference as opposed to a straight wall. Uh, they also have the, hang the hanging rod in here so you can hang wet clothes or even use it as a closet as you're going down for an extra closet. Handheld shower, so if you want to sit and take the shower, you certainly can. Uh, and your uh, nice sink and stuff like that in here as well. Uh, this door will close first and it latches nice and tight. So when you're driving, uh, you really don't have a problem with a lot of noise or any of these coming open. So one of the benefits of that as well. Um, as I move back in the coach, we do have the closet here and it's a hanging closet here. So you give your uh, space with that. Um, the TV is mounted here for the rear and allows you to see it. The rear is a screen, which is really cool because you can see right now when I open this up, the back doors are open and we can see out, uh, which is great because you can actually lay this seat down and you can then see in and use this almost as a tailgating coach. But again, what one of the things we're worried about is keeping light and heat out, not only for privacy, but for temperature control. All of the shades are the MCD and they're the slow roll up shade. So you don't have to, if you let go, it doesn't flip, 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 flip. It goes slow. The windows, you have jealousy windows, both in the back and on the door. So even if you can't leave your door open or you don't want to for, for protection or privacy in an area, you can open the jealousy windows, turn on the max air fan above you and get great airflow through here. So if it's not that hot, uh, you can still cool the coach or comfortably have the coach doing it without having to have uh, necessarily the air conditioner running. So speaking of air conditioner, you do have the Coleman Mach here. Uh, this air conditioner is a great brand. Uh, it does cool well. It has the Onan, D Onan LP generator on this coach. So you can run while you're going down the road, you can use it. Obviously you can plug in at a campground and use it as well. Tons of storage back here. This cabinet is really, really deep. I don't know if you can tell how deep it is, but gives you a lot of storage back here in the back. So for a B van, a lot of storage, a lot of space and a really, really nice unit uh, and a lot of privacy. I think it's a coach you'll love the look of, you'll love the quality and the style of, and you're gonna love the dash area. Let's look at it real quick what the new dash looks like. We are sitting here in the front of the Mercedes chassis and if you've looked at B vans in the past, you immediately see the difference. Um, uh, the other one, it looked like a delivery van. And if you ask the Mercedes uh, reps why, it's they'll look at you and say, because it's a delivery van. Uh, so we took a delivery van and made an RV out of it. But there were, some con there were some issues in that it still rode like a delivery van and it still looked like a delivery van. This dash has been entirely redesigned. It's designed uh, for a more upscale look that looks more like a Mercedes. The steering wheel is more adjustable in and out, up and down. So you have a more 
ergonomical steering wheel. All your controls are moved right here to your steering wheel as well. So you control, you have speech to text in your phone. You've got your uh, volume control, your cruise control, all that stuff right here. You can either shift it in and out of gear also from your little paddle shifters located here on the side. Uh, so really just a lot of uh, integrated features in the dash, in the steering wheel itself. Um, it also has collision avoidance, so you've got the blind spot indicators on left and right. You've got the lane keeping assistance. You've also got the supplemental braking. So if you go to, if you're not braking hard enough and you, it detects a collision, it'll add uh, additional braking power to what you're braking. Power seats I mentioned, uh, memory seats as well on that. Heated seats down here. You can see your heated seat control. Um, <clears throat> just a lot of features uh, that you get upgraded on that. You can also even see the picture on the screen will show there's a rear, it shows what doors are open, um, just a ton of stuff. The backup camera, you can tell it's the, the upgraded chassis, but the bigger backup camera, this is a really nice feature they do with their rear view camera, is it gives you an option of three different looks. So you can look the wide angle, which the doors are open right now, so you can't really tell, but it really allows you to see when you're passing somebody when the front of their vehicle, you can see the front of their vehicle when you're clear, so that's a nice feature. Or you can look further back down the road. So if you wanna be able to have this almost like a backup camera where you're looking down the road, and then last, if you're backing up to hook up something, it looks straight down at the hitch. So any of those three settings, great little feature they do. Uh, parking assist up here, you can have the, the beeper for the parking assist on or off. Uh, dash controls for your air conditioner down here and your uh, radio and volume and all that kind of stuff. Um, there's no key, so we'll push button start. You shift into gear by uh, using this little remote there. And then again, I said you can use your, uh, or the power shifters actually, I said shifters. These are not your shifters. This is your controllers for your stereo and stuff like that, your shifters here. Um, and then you just push it in to put it back in park. So great new feature, but the big difference is the ride. Really drives very ergonomically. You're really gonna enjoy it. So hopefully you can come by, take a drive on this, see if one of these is for you. I think you'll really be impressed with the new Mercedes chassis. I know you'll be impressed with the Winnebago era. So all you have to do now is come get your own to enjoy the journey. And don't forget, if you subscribe and click the notifications, our job is to help you enjoy the journey. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that you found that both informative and entertaining. If you would like this video and also subscribe to our channel so you can see everything new that's coming out as well. If you have any questions or comments, please list them below. Also tell us anything else you would like us to do a video on. Again, this is Jeff at Miller's RV. Enjoy the journey and click on one of the links to watch another video by us.